Welcome to my channel, Drink Wine Be Crafty. I'm Megan. Today I'll be doing the first of my Halloween projects, and this one is a wine bottle. Y'all know I love some wine bottle crafts, especially th to light them up and get a cool effect. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this, and if you haven't checked out, I have another wine bottle project that I did last year. I will share the link to that one. Um, it's a really cool Halloween project as well. And you'll need a standard wine bottle for this project, a vinyl decal. This design will be available in my Etsy store um, in the next couple of days. I just created this design, haven't posted it yet, but it will be available in the description box below. You will also need some transfer tape. You will um, need black and red spray paint. And then at the end of the project, I just use a clear matte seal to seal it where it can't get dinged up and scratched. So the first thing I need to do is to get my vinyl decal on my transfer tape. This decal is nine inches wide and six and a half inches long, tall. And um, for most wine bottles, this size is perfect. You don't want your decal to go, the, when the wine bottle starts to curve, it will be very difficult to put this type of decal on. So you want it to, be short enough to where it doesn't go over the curved part of the bottle. So that five, nine and a half, I'm sorry, not nine and a half, nine inches wide and six and a half tall is perfect for most standard wine bottles. I've also tried a couple of uh, vinyls and a couple of different transfer tapes and I have found my favorite. I will also share that link in the description box below. I buy most of my supplies on Amazon. And now um, I don't have fancy tools, y'all. Just use my hands. You can get maybe a credit card or something to apply it. I always just use my hands or my nails. But um, to keep the bottle from rolling, I just find whatever's sitting around that I can just tuck on each side. Doesn't have to be anything fancy for that either. Applying a decal on a round surface like this can be a little tricky, but always I always start in the middle and then I just work my way around. I did my transfer tape a little bit too long on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel up the transfer tape on this side before I finish applying the decal. Um, but if I wouldn't have done that, then it would have gone on perfectly, but trial and error, y'all. If you've seen any of my other wine bottle videos, um, or if not, I use a uh, painter's tape a lot whenever I'm applying decals. Um, transfer tape can just be a little bit more sticky. I really should have broken out a uh, credit card or something or anything to kind of scrape over it to apply it. But if it does stick and you just kind of get it started just a little bit, then it'll peel right off. But you can also try using painter's tape. And again, I'll share the link to my other video because I'm pretty sure I used 
painter's tape in that one. I had a couple of spots that had bubbles in it, but with with this, usually you can just smooth it out. If not, sometimes I do lift it up, but you just have to be really, really careful not to, you know, tear it. But I'm using a good vinyl, and this vinyl is pretty hard to mess up whenever I'm lifting it up like this. So I'm just going to smooth out my little lump there. <laughs> and then now we are going to start painting. Once we have our decal on and smoothed out, we are going to break out. Starting off, we're going to break out the red paint. But here's the, I mean, I think the bottle looks cute, not painted, honestly. If you just wanted to stick a light in there or even have it like it is, it's still super cute. I did two coats of the red paint. Um, this red is so humid outside, y'all. I had such a hard time getting this stuff to dry. I'm in Georgia and this mess is, it's hot. Um, but I also... I spray paint the top and then I really wanted the red to come through and to shine through so I decided to also spray paint the bottom of the bottle so I'm gonna do two coats of red paint on the top part and then I'm just gonna do a coat of red paint on the bottom Now with the bottom portion, once everything dried, I just use an old box. You see it has been through some things. I actually bought that from the Dollar Tree. Just something to prop it up on. And once it dries, just on the very, very bottom, I'm going to go ahead and put the clear seal on it. Um, just so it doesn't scrape off the bottom. I didn't record myself spray painting the black. I just did one coat of black paint. I actually let everything dry overnight because like I said, everything's it's really humid and just took it a little bit longer to dry. So I decided to let it sit overnight. I tried to start taking the vinyl off before and uh, it started to peel up. So once I let it sit overnight, it actually did not, I didn't have any problems with it peeling up. So. All you need to do now is just start pulling off the decal. I actually use, I have tweezers right now, but I actually use a seam ripper um, to start. I've had a lot of people ask me about why I decided to use that tool. You need something really, really sharp to get underneath, like this is the seam ripper that I'm using. And if you try to use, um, a lot of people have asked me about maybe using like sharp tweezers and things like that. It's really, really hard to get it started without scratching the paint. And this is super, super thin lines. Seam Ripper is just my go-to tool. You need something sharp. You could probably even use like a safety pin, anything where you can softly peel up where you can get a grip on a piece of the vinyl.
Now that we have the decal removed, the last thing we need to do is to put a clear seal on it. Um, I just did one coat of the seal. You could do two to be safe. I've never had a problem just using one coat and it getting messed up. But once we add this clear coat and let that dry, we just need to light it up. And I actually purchased some cork lights from Amazon that are super inexpensive. Honestly, the lights do not last that long. If you keep them on all day or all night, you probably get one or two days out of it. Um, but there it comes in a, with a lot of them, and the batteries are also super inexpensive. So I think it's worth it. And then now once I get this in there... lit up you can see I don't know if it comes through on the video I hope it does it has a lot of red in it um, honestly I've debated on whether I might have put a little another coat of black because you can see the red through all of it and if you do two coats you'll just get more of the red shining from the inside instead of it being through the whole bottle but I liked the red hue that came through all of it and that's gonna be it I hope you guys like this project I will have more soon I will see you then. Remember to like and subscribe. See you later, guys. Bye.